Hey guys, I am going to do a very quick pull apart of this cheap shitty Chinese laptop charger. Yes, I went dumpster diving, I saw it on the top of the bin as I got went to drop some rubbish off. And yes, there's going to be some comments about that, but I don't care. Let's open this piece of shit, and I've already opened it carefully, without a hammer sadly. And I kid you not, all that was holding it in was this glue here. I'm not making this up, that's glue. Not even very really good stuff either. A, um, basically this is a Dell style charger without the Dell logo. Might be, a, might be other ones similar but very cheap shitty plastic. Model PCB 665 watt DL-A revision 1.0 PWB T equals 1.6 millimeters, and it's got IU and 09 or 94-0 volts, and I'm gonna guess that was the hmm, first week of 14 or 2014. I doubt it, but let's put it apart. I don't think anything in this is going to be safe. It's really to use as a means device. I don't even trust my screwdrivers on this fucking thing. That bad. How little I trust it. It's got, as Dave Jones from the EV blog would say, that crusty smell. That crusty one hung low brand smell. And boy does it indeed. I don't want to come apart either. Oh, it's a three prong um, charger, it's got a sense mode or sense pin in there as well, so I don't know, it might be. Why have I put it in the bin? Put it in the bin. If that's a screw in there, I'm gonna scream because I checked this earlier. I'm bending the forks, the wife's gonna be grumpy at me now. Well, at least they used some um, silicon. What was that? Yeah, some silicon to hold that together. Well, they shielded it, so that's a good thing. So maybe it's not as one hung low as many most of them. Yes, again, I'm using the wrong type of screwdriver. Phew, I can't be bothered. Oh, that's how good it was. It snapped within seconds. I won't lie to you, this smells like it's already failed, so. Oh, this little bit here is just an additional heat sink for the uh, for a, um, for a little thingy here. I don't know what they're called, I can't remember. HSE. 105 degree, 40 microfarad, low ESR caps, and I believe them not. That's a, I don't know exactly what it is, I think it's a diode. Let's have a look at the creepage distance. Fuck me, it's actually quite good. A very decent level of distance, to be fair, and it's consistent. It seems to stay, I'd say it's about a centimetre there and there, or just under a centimetre. I like that, that's good. Now this is your life, this is your 240 volt side, this is your 19 volt side. Now this was a um, 19.5 volt at 3.34 amperes um, power adapter. Again, to be fair, I didn't want to plug it in, I didn't trust it. It came from a bin. Now I've got another one I found as well, it's a light on one, which I, which I do actually trust because I've checked it already and it works perfect, it works fine. There's not a lot in this to be fair. The capacitor here is a 100 microfarad GZTOD, ZITOD, Z. Like I said, 400 volt, well, yeah, 100 microfarads, 400 volts. And it's got a bad, an ID number on it here as SP1211049. Um, it's got a fuse, so that's good. 
It's got a 2.5 amp, 250 volt fuse in there, which actually been soldered in, so once it's dead, it's dead. You've got your bridge rectifier here on the side. I think it's a bridge rectifier anyway. It's got this gunked up to the eyeball, so. Yeah, that's the bridge rectifier, from what I can read. They've gunked the fucking the, the light or the neutral. Is that neutral or I can't remember colour schemes right now. But anyway, that works. I wouldn't trust that cap as far as I could throw it because it already looks like the bloody. Well, it looks like it's just been repainted. Or how its details repaint splattered on it. And it fell straight through. Look. <sighs> Cheap ass piece of shit. And this charge was probably, say, £20 on eBay. Or maybe a tenner. And that cap. There's a couple of di more diodes on here. Resistor. Another capacitor. There isn't really a lot on this. There might be a voltage regulator on the bottom. I don't know. I'm not an expert at stuff like this. But bar the creepage distance, that's not bad. Plus it had shielding, so we can't dig at it too badly. But I still wouldn't say this is the safest one I've ever seen, to be fair. I've seen a lot worse, I won't lie to you. I've seen a lot, lot worse. I mean, even the windings look very safely um, sold or um, covered over here. This is your secondary, this is your primary. I'd say it's not actually too bad a state in that respect. Well, that's a very quick teardown of a one hung low generic Chinese laptop charging device. Well, this is Paul from Mind Well Confused signing off. Another video done. Might have a few more of these to do later. I've got a couple of power supplies to tear down for the PC, including a very one hung low one that came from an, from an ITX supplier. You will be named and shamed if I find it is one of your own branded ones.